Hey, what's up everyone? Fear here with another video. I'm gonna be doing a Pepper game plan commentary this time around. And Pepper is probably one of my favorite characters right now. I just really enjoy sniping, which is how she is overall as a character. Coffee is optional on Pepper, definitely not a bad choice, but I prefer to run the Molotov on her um, because of how long range she can throw her grenade. The Molotov can be pretty deadly, depending on where you place it. Looks like there's another fear in this game. Actually, never seen another fear, but uh, I just saw a Larry fear in the kill feed. Definitely want to go hunt him down. <laughs> what a perfect time too, the time of this video. You know, there he is, right there. Give him a little emote. Not sure if you noticed, but uh, yeah, that was the first first clone of myself that I've killed. Uh, it's pretty crazy. But uh, back on Pepper. So I think she's uh, very strong overall. She does have um, a lot of range. And that's her weakness because if a Molly gets on top of her, uh, it's, it's gonna be pretty difficult to deal with as all of your kit as Pepper is range. You know, you have your bow for sniping, your spear is super long range using your active ability. And this makes Pepper pretty deadly as a sniper, but she's a little weaker in close range combat. You have to be extra aware of how you're aiming. One thing I really like doing on Pepper is as I walk around, check the area. Make sure that I'm aware of who's in the area, like this Molly over here. I wanna know where she's coming from at all times so that I can protect my space and keep my range advantage. I think that's very important on Pepper. Um, so every few steps, as the circle gets a little smaller, you know, you should start doing this towards the mid game, making sure you're aware of who's around you and acting accordingly. If you're a lower level and there's higher levels at fighting, you know, let them fight, walk away, keep your distance. You have that range, you can see them, they can't see you. Looks like we're at showdown now against this Molly and he is gonna get on top of us. We can use a barrel to dodge this next grenade and try and aim as best as we can, close range. I'm gonna go for a bow shot here take his health kit off and he doesn't have his jump so that grenade will hit him and then close out with a bow don't think that connected there not sure if he has any health kits left but okay no more health kits now and we should end it there all right so early mid and late game with pepper early game um probably just loot up if you have the correct weapons like silver slash gold, you can look to contest the legendary guard. Coffee, of course, can contest legendary guard. Pepper is pretty strong with coffee as the speed boost and pickup speed can be a huge advantage for someone like her um, as she can get away from any fights that she doesn't want to take and also pick up legendary in the middle of huge battles. Late game and mid game are pretty much the same. Um, you're just looking to snipe people, pick them off from the advantage, and close it out, you know? Try not to let yourself get sandwiched or positioned poorly, uh, as that will result in a lot of, a lot of struggles. Looks like we're really struggling here to find some health kits, but thankfully these characters that I'm fighting are not too too high level. There's a duke over here, that could be a problem, but I think we can kite him fairly easily. This Larry's coffee has run out. Still gonna be a little annoying to try and kill him as Larry requires some pretty good aim to kill as Pepper, but we do pick up the health kits that we need over here. And back to mid and late game, um, yeah, just try and snipe people. Don't reveal yourself when it's not necessary. Um, definitely stay away from Bucks and Bruce's Dukes. If you allow them to get near you, you're going to have a very bad time 
they have the advantage over you for sure. Uh, even with full gold weapons and the legendary, you still will struggle to do much about a Bruce, Buck, or Duke on top of you. Um, Fuzzy is a rival of Pepper's Molly, very big rival, as they have mobility and slows, uh, so make sure you're paying attention to that. Um, I guess I'm really just circling back to highlighting how important it is to be aware of your position on Pepper. Like right now, I can see everything. I'm kind of towards the left side of the map, um, still not touching the edge though, and we can take a fight up here appropriately. We can snipe this Finn very safely. Don't have to worry about him getting on top of us um, before he dies. As you saw there, we took both of his health kits off uh, before we walked up there. Very, very safely played fight. Look for a skill shot against this Finn. We do take a health kit off of him. He'll look to come up here and we'll pop him. Larry over here, gonna require a bit more precise aim as he does have jungle shoes and Larry's are quick in general but he does go down to that Molotov. Very, very strong item on Pepper, especially with the legendary grenade. And it looks like Shelly is the last one in this game. Does have the snorkel, but dies to Molotov. There you just see the power of the burn. Feel the burn. That is not a political reference, by the way. More of a, a gym reference. You know, when you work out and your muscles feel like they're on fire, feel the burn, feels good. Uh, but in this case, it's just a turtle on fire. Nothing to see here, folks. All right, last game. Getting a little sidetracked with my own personal entertaining commentary there. <laughs> so, as I'm releasing this video side by side, the Ollie video, I will not have any comments to read. So we'll just try and commentate this match as we go along. Gonna start off with a Molly right here with coffee and she's gonna steal everything in the igloo, but we did manage to get this spear and she doesn't have um, bows to pick up, so we're gonna pick that up too. We'll grab this silver grenade from the guard. I wasn't really paying attention where the legendary guard was, but I think he was, oh, he's right over here, okay. Thought he was top left, it's right here, no problem. We'll do our best to take him down before anyone else comes over. Coffee, he tries to take him away from me. See if we can get a legendary grenade. There, there it is, indeed. And we can throw our silver grenade out before we pick that up. And throw the legendary grenade right after if we want. Okay, well, with the legendary grenade now we have a huge advantage and just look to kill as many people as possible for the rest of this match. Um, characters with long range bomb radius and the legendary grenade are extremely deadly as the legendary grenade is probably the most powerful legendary in the game. Uh, legendary bow is pretty powerful too, but it does require a lot of aim and doesn't have any modifiers other than nitro bow, which just adds velocity and range. Whereas the legendary grenade can be modified with cluster bomb and molotov. Extremely, extremely powerful. Pair that with low cooldown and you are pretty, pretty strong. Snipe that Nyx there. Didn't even need our active. Throw a bomb over here, just preemptively. Make sure no one's in there. It's another important tip. Make sure when you're approaching bushes, you use your range to check and make sure no one's in there, or you might run into a surprise attack from a Bruce or an ape. She might tackle you. Looking for any enemies we can find at this point. Sniping this Shelly here, looking to take her down. Coming out of her shell any second. That legendary grenade just doing work. Extremely deadly, especially on uh, such a high level character. 
Last character, just the Bruce, does have jungle shoes, but doesn't look interested in fighting. Just gonna run around and try and pick up health. See if we can take him out right here. Puts up some barricades, not sure what the point of that was, uh, but uh, <laughs> Legendary Grenade does take him down. All right guys, I'm out. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and happy hunting.